Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum, proud to welcome you to the championship round of the 21st annual Nevada Regional Science Bowl. We have for you the best and the brightest high school students competing for an expense paid trip to the Department of Energy's National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. And the first place team will also win $5,000 for their school's math or science department. Our two finalists have emerged from 10 tough rounds of head-to-head -head competition. Let's go ahead and meet the team members. Remember, as you introduce yourselves, we want you to test your buzzer, tell us your name, your grade, and um, your favorite breakfast cereal. From ATEC, we'll start with uh, position A1. I'm Alex, I'm a junior. I guess my favorite cereal is Cheerios. Very good. I'm Max, I'm a senior, and my favorite cereal is Fruit Loops. Very good. I'm Matosh, I'm a sophomore. I'm gonna have to go for Cheerios as well. Wonderful. I'm Adam, I'm a junior, and my favorite is Lucky Charms. Excellent, that's the team from ATEC. Uh, they are undefeated so far. Now let's meet the team from Green Valley, starting with position B1. I'm Kevin Kong, I'm a senior at Green Valley High School, and my favorite cereal would be Count Chocula. Oh, wonderful, tasty. Uh, I'm Arash Ruhani, I'm a senior at Green Valley, and I like uh, honey bunches and oats. Oh, me too. I'm Ian, I'm a junior at Green Valley High School, and uh, Life Cereal. Oh, wonderful. I'm Matthew Kumnak, I'm a junior at Green Valley High School, and I like um, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, very good. And again, we want the uh, contestants to speak as loudly and clearly as possible so that we know you're speaking into a microphone for the TV audience, but we have some folks here in the studio, the judges, that need to hear you as well. We have some people who we need to recognize who help with the Nevada Regional Science Bowl. We're talking about the timekeepers and the judges, the moderators, and a lot of other volunteers. And none of this would be possible without our generous sponsors. We thank them. The founding sponsor of the Nevada Regional Science Bowl is the United States Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration Nevada Site Office. Also a special thanks to the Clark County School District, the teachers, and the coaches who bring their teams to the Nevada Regional Science Bowl. Now a game consists of two eight-minute halves. And there are a lot of people behind the scenes who help make all of this happen. And this championship round of the Nevada Regional Science Bowl will begin after I read this first question. The category is biology, and this is a multiple choice question. In elephant seals, sexual selection favors competition among males for female mates. Which of the following is a likely result of this phenomenon? W, sexual monomorphism. X, evolution of female handicap structures. Y, directional selection toward large male size. Z, conspicuous coloration of females. That's A1. Why? Why is correct. Now we have a bonus question. It is for team A only. The category is biology. It's a short answer question. What is the name of the principle that describes the asymmetric fitness pressures between males and females that can lead to sexual selection and evolution? You have 20 seconds. Uh, sexual dimorphism? No, we were looking for Batemans. We have a toss-up question for both teams, the category Earth and Space. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following minerals is not typically found in the rock granite? W, olivine. X, plagioclase. Y, quartz. Z, hornblende. A1. W. W is correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for team A only. The category Earth and Space, it is a multiple choice question. If two black holes orbit one another at a distance of a few Schwarzschild radii, their orbits will slowly shrink until they merge. By which of the following processes does this occur? W. Dynamic friction. X. Gravitational radiation. Y, third body interactions. Z, drag from the accretion disks. You have 20 seconds. I think it's Y, I don't know. What's Y? Gravitational. Gravitational radiation. Oh, X. Oh, okay, then I'll say X. Yeah, okay. X? X is correct. Now we move on to a toss-up question for both teams. The category is physics. This is a multiple choice question. The electron transitions responsible for the generation of light have durations on the order of 10 to the negative eighth seconds. Which of the following best represents the natural line width in hertz of the resulting light? 
W, 10 to the negative eighth. X, 3. Y, 10 to the eighth. Z, 10 to the sixteenth. A, Captain. Y. Y is correct. We now have a bonus question for Team A only, the category is physics, and this is a multiple choice question. Which of the following types of thermometer is based on the difference in the voltage induced by a temperature gradient in two metals? W. Beckman. X. Silicon band gap. Y. Thermistor. Z. Thermocouple. You have 20 seconds. Z? Z is correct. A toss-up question now for both teams. The category is math. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following is equivalent to sine of 24 degrees times cosine of 17 degrees plus cosine of 24 degrees times sine of 17 degrees? W, sine of 7 degrees. X, cosine of 41 degrees. Y, Sine of 41 degrees. Z, tangent of 41 degrees. A, Captain. Y. Y is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team A only. The category is math. This is a short answer question. Solve for, uh, solve for x. 5 plus the square root of the quantity x plus 14 equals x plus 7. You have 20 seconds. X equals zero? No, we were looking for two. We move on to a toss-up question for both teams. The category is chemistry. Multiple choice, which of the following is false regarding the reaction A sub G in parens plus B sub S in parens goes to C sub S? W, as pressure decreases, reaction rate decreases. X, as temperature increases, reaction rate increases. Y, as surface area increases, reaction rate decreases. Z, when a catalyst is added, reaction rate increases. B, Captain. X. X is incorrect. A, Captain. Y. Y is correct. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The category is chemistry. This is a short answer question. Calculate the charge in energy from a hydrogen atom's ground state to its first excited state in Rydberg's. You have 20 seconds. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, from its ground to its, okay. Uh, one Rydberg? Plus three quarters is the correct answer, so you're incorrect. Toss up question for both teams, categories energy. This is a short answer question. When processing mined uranium ore, it is first crushed to a fine powder and then processed with concentrated acid, alkaline, or peroxide solutions to leach out the uranium. What's the common term for the remaining coarse powder? B, Captain. Yellow cake? Yes, a bonus question now for Team B only. The category's energy. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following metabolites has the most negative standard Gibbs free energy of hydrolysis? W, phosphocreatine. X, pyrophosphate. Y, glucose 1-phosphate. Z, phosphoenolpyruvate. You have 20 seconds. Was asking for metabolization of, of what? So, which one has the greatest change in energy? X. X is incorrect. We were looking for Z, phosphoenolpyruvate. A toss up question for both teams, categories biology, short answer. Name the water soluble vitamin found in nuts, grains, and meats that functions in vertebrates as a component of the coenzyme NAD. B, Captain. Vitamin K? No. A, Captain. Vitamin B12? No, we were looking for vitamin B3. A toss-up question for both teams, category Earth and Space. Short answer question. Name the three quantities that can completely describe any black hole. Uh, B2. Mass, charge, and spin. Yes. 
A bonus question for Team B only, the category Earth and Space. It's a multiple choice question. Which of the following is the dominant cooling mechanism in a core collapse supernova? W, X-rays and gamma rays. X, synchroton emission, synchrotron emission, sorry. Y, neutrinos. Z, electron evaporation. You have 20 seconds. So something tells you it's what? I don't know. There was something like one, like so, so little radiation was from, was from X-rays and gamma rays. So what do you think? I'd, so I'd, say, I'd, I'd say Y personally. Okay, I'm gonna go with you. Why? Why is correct. Now a toss-up question for both teams. The category is physics, and this is a short answer question. In your interferometry experiment, you measure a minimum intensity of one watt per meter squared, and a maximum intensity of 19 watts per meter squared. What is the visibility of your fringes? Hey, Captain. 10? No. B, Captain. 14? Nope, 0 0.9. And that is the end of our first round. Before we get to the second half of the competition, let's take a look at how the teams got here. The 2012 Nevada Regional Science Bowl started on a Friday afternoon with teams from three states registering at the National Atomic Testing Museum. The National Atomic Testing Museum is dedicated to the history and science of the Nevada test site and the nation's nuclear weapons program. Students who took tours learned about the Cold War and the role Nevada played during this historic period of fear and uncertainty. Students also learned about the present roles of what's now called the Nevada National Security Site. Oh, great. When registration was completed, a total of 32 high school teams had signed up from Las Vegas, Reno, Fallon, Pahrump, and Minden, Nevada, as well as Big Pine, California, and Cedar City, Utah. Competitors and their coaches took team pictures, picked up goodie bag, reviewed the Science Bowl rules, Michael, okay. and took part in a mock competition in preparation for the real thing. First thing Saturday morning inside the classrooms at the Education Technology Campus of Vegas PBS, the competition got underway. Why is correct? Team B player one. B1. Why is correct? Students and their coaches at their best, round after round, answering difficult questions in algebra, astronomy, physics, chemistry, and more. Lunchtime offered a chance to take a break and make some new friends. The Nevada Regional Science Bowl wouldn't happen without support from the Department of Energy's Nevada Site Office, NS Tech, National Security Technology, Northrop Grumman, Vegas PBS, and the Department of the Interior, Bureau of Reclamation, and many more. Early in the afternoon, the competition restarted. As the day progressed, so did our top two teams. And that's where we are now, with the championship on the line. And at the end of the first half of competition, here's our score. ATAC is leading Green Valley 40 to 18, but anything can happen in the second half. And let's first begin by introducing our new players. Uh, up in uh, ATAC, tell us your name and your favorite breakfast cereal. I'm Bridget, I'm a senior, and I like Honey Nut Cheerios. And test your buzzer, very good. And from Green Valley, who's new? Test your buzzer, tell us your name, your, your grade, and your favorite breakfast cereal. Uh, my name is Jonathan Kumnark. I'm a sophomore at Green Valley High School, and I don't really eat cereal. You're doing fine. It's not required. Okay, we are going to begin the second half of this round with eight minutes on the clock, and it'll begin as I complete this question, which is a toss-up for both teams. The category is math, and this is a short answer question. If the exterior angle of a base angle of an isosceles triangle measures 141 degrees, what is the measure? of the vertex angle? A, Captain. 102 degrees. Yes, a bonus question now for team A only. The category is math, and this is a short answer question. If f of x equals negative 2x minus e to the x, what is the range of the derivative of f? And you have 20 seconds.
Um, okay, so it's below negative two. So, um, five seconds. Y is less than negative two. No, we were looking for x is less than negative two, or the open interval from negative infinity to negative two. Here's a toss-up question for both teams, and it's a chemistry question, multiple choice. Identify which of the following compounds would be insoluble in an aqueous solution. W, calcium sulfate. X, sodium nitrate. Y, ammonium hydroxide. Z, potassium perchlorate. B, Captain. Z. Z is incorrect. A1. W. W is correct. Here's a bonus question for team A only. The category is chemistry. It's a multiple choice question. Which of the following accurately depicts the hybridization of each atom in the molecule krypton difluoride? W. Krypton, sp3, each fluorine, sp3. X. Krypton, sp3d, each fluorine, sp3. Y. Krypton, sp3d2, each fluorine, sp2. Z. Krypton, sp3d, each fluorine, sp2. You have 20 seconds. All right, sp2. Um, so, so, uh, so yeah. Krypton. Krypton's a, um, it's got a, so, so Krypton, sp3, the fluorine, sp2. Okay, which one was that? Okay. Z? No, that is incorrect. We were looking for X. We have a toss-up question now for both teams. The category is energy. Multiple choice. Which of the following was not an effect of removing sulfur from diesel fuel? W, it lowered the nitrous oxides and soot emissions. X, it slightly increased gas mileage in diesel engines. Y, it allowed the use of advanced emission control systems. Z, it reduced the lubricity of the fuel. B1. W. W is incorrect. A, Captain. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team A only. The category is energy. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following most accurately describes an advantage of a nuclear fusion reactor over a nuclear fission reactor? W. A failure of control systems shuts down the fusion reactor. X. Fusion based nuclear plants are much less expensive than fission plants. Y. Fusion reactors operate at a lower temperature than fission reactors. Z, the fuel rods in the fusion reactor can be reused. You have 20 seconds. What was X? X was the fusion Okay. W? W is correct. Here's a toss-up question for both teams. The category is biology. This is a multiple choice question. Which of the following best exemplifies secondary endosymbiosis? W, human white blood cell phagocytosis of a pathogenic bacterium. Cyanobacterium is engulfed by a heterotrophic eukaryote. Why? A heterotrophic eukaryote engulfs a green algal eukaryote. Z. Receptor mediated endocytosis. A. Captain. X. X is incorrect. B. Captain. W. W is incorrect. We were looking for Y. The heterotrophic eukaryote engulfs a green algal eukaryote. Toss up question for both teams category Earth and space. Multiple choice. The curve that the position of the sun at noon traces on the sky over the course of a year most closely resembles which of the following? W. Line. X. Figure 8. Y. Ellipse. Z. Circle. B2. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question for Team B only. The category, Earth and Space, multiple choice. Which of the following should never occur? W. Mercury at inferior conjunction. X. Venus at opposition. Y. Mars at eastern quadrature. Z. Jupiter at conjunction. Yeah, the X opposition only happens yeah, 20 on the seconds. Side of the All right. So you X, want to make, X. X. X is correct. A toss-up question for both teams. The category is physics. This is a multiple choice question. According to Maxwell's equations, which of the following does not exist? W, infinitely separated charges. X, magnetic monopoles. Y, magnetically contained plasma. Z, superconductivity. B1. X. X is correct. Here's a bonus question. It's for team B only. The category physics. Short answer question. A person who weighs 200 pounds on Earth, where acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, 
is standing in a circular rotating space station in outer space with a tangential speed of 300 meters per second. Now if the radius of the station is 9,184 meters, what will the person weigh in the space station? You have 20 seconds. Is it V squared over R? Yeah, V squared over R. Okay, wait. That's so equals um, more than eight mass. Did it ask for the mass? Or, or, uh, What's that? Five seconds. 200 pounds. 200 pounds? That's correct. Here's a toss-up question for both teams. The category's math. It's a short answer question. Providing your answer as a fraction in lowest terms, if a family has exactly four children, what is the probability of having three girls and one boy? B, Captain. One sixteenth? No. A, Captain. One fourth? Yes. A bonus question for Team A only, the category math, and this is a short answer question. If the radius of a spherical balloon is expanding at the rate of five inches per second, assuming the initial volume is zero, and providing your answer as an improper fraction in lowest terms, what is its volume in inches cubed in terms of pi after two seconds? You have 20 seconds. Four thousand, four thousand thirds pi. Judge, that is correct, and we have a that's correct. A toss-up question for both teams. Category chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following is the molarity of a 3.0 liter solution that contains 21 grams of methane? W 0.15, X 0.32, Y 0.44, Z 0.56. B1. Why? Why is correct. A bonus question for team B only, the category chemistry. This is a short answer question. Given that the K sub A of benzoic acid is 6.4 times 10 to the negative fifth, and its P K sub A is 4.2, providing your answer to one decimal place, what is the pH of a solution of 0.1 molar benzoic acid and 0.10 molar sodium benzoate? You have 20 seconds. Uh, four? We were looking for 3.2, and time has expired, and the final score of the 2012 Regional Science Bowl, ATEC 76, Green Valley 50, so ATEC is our winner, but we also wanted to congratulate our second place finishers from Green Valley. Take a look at that cool trophy. That's awesome. But something that may be more valuable to their school is a check for $2,500, and their coach, Scott Panic, ladies and gentlemen, our second place finishers from Green Valley High School. Great job, you guys. Coach, great job. Now the winners of the 2012 Science Bowl from ATEC. They also get not only the first, pay, first place trophy, each of them receives a really cool MP4 sort of iPod kind of player. But even more important, they're going to Washington, D.C. to represent the Nevada region in the National Science Bowl. And Coach Becky College and the team receives a check and the school for $5,000. Congratulations to ATEC. <laughs> and we thank you for tuning in to the 2012 Regional Science Bowl. Hope to see you next year for the 2013 Regional Science Bowl on Vegas PBS. <laughs>